Hi, I'm Ashley with Shrugger Hand Controls, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you today about our Featherlight range of hand controls. With the Featherlight hand control, we've simply taken the OEM signal and redirected it to the hand control. This means that we've eliminated any um, linkage, mechanical linkage, be it a cable or a rod, that attaches the pedal um, to the hand control itself. And as you can see here from the, from the display stand and also the pictures, um, the amount of leg and lap room you're able to achieve is, is huge. It'll uh, be the first thing that you notice. And also, um, it, it means that there's limited dash modifications required during the install. One of the main features of the Featherlight hand controls is the one source acceleration. So what that means is, when you get into the vehicle, there's a 30 second activation window. If you push the button within 30 seconds, you will activate the driving aid or the hand control, and that becomes the primary source of acceleration. The OEM pedal will be deactive, it will not work. And vice versa, if you get into the vehicle and don't hit that button in that 30 second window, the OEM pedal will remain the uh, active source of acceleration and your hand control will be deactive. A couple of the main benefits of this is it's huge from a safety standpoint. You no longer need a gas pedal guard when driving with a hand control. And it's also the newest and latest technology in the lockout, uh, in the lockout world. Again, if you are driving with the hand control, the OEM pedal is deactivated and vice versa. If the OEM pedal is uh, active, then the hand control will not work. The Featherlight hand controls are available in all four styles, the push rock, the push right angle, the push pull and the push twist for both the left and the right hand side of the vehicle. Another feature of the Featherlight that is worth mentioning here is that we do have a minimum and a maximum te tension that you can actually dial between. So when at the final fitting, um, you can actually adjust the hand control to suit your client's needs and abilities perfectly. So here we're gonna look at the Showgrip Featherlight push right angle hand control. To operate the push right angle, simply push for brake and pull down towards your lap for acceleration. The sugar push right angle utilizes a short stroke design, which means during the acceleration, only the handle of the hand control itself smooths. The brake rod and the main body stay stationary, allowing for a really good install and with little to no dash modifications and plenty of leg and lap room, in most cases having no rods below the dash panel. There are a couple of options available with the Featherlight hand controls, a couple of add-ons. And the first one is the city mode option. So when city mode is activated, and simply to activate it, you just push this little button here, you still get full range of motion in the hand control itself, but it actually limits the throttle output to 50%. So if you're in a parking lot or city driving or any kind of stop and go traffic, this could be a really good option and um, to take that initial lurch out to really smooth um, the, the, the drive in, smooth the acceleration out. The other option that's available with the Featherlight controls is our brake lock, our, le our electronic brake lock. What this allows the driver to do is apply the brake and then by simply pushing a button, be able to hold the brake in position with no hands. Um, this means that drivers can now shift gears, um, go through drive-throughs or any toll, toll booths, any stop and go traffic, stop signs or anything like that, um, without actually having to maintain pressure on the brake. And this is a great option, um, specifically or, or mainly for right side drives, people who um, in the historically have had to hold the brake to shift gears can now push a button, simply let go shift gears. And to, to deactivate, you, you push the brake in a little further, depress the brake and it will uh, come back to its neutral position.